Hello the internet, my name's Buster Bootlace and welcome Perfect. to my channel. Okay, I'm sort of getting the feeling of deja vu. This is the third time I've done this now. I don't know what's going on with Marillis action screen cam recorder thing. Ever since a few updates ago, it's been really temperamental. Twice now, I've tried this video and I've lost all my my uh, screen recording and it's just gone corrupt. It's a bit of a pain because uh, it's paid software so I've sent them an email to see if there's anything they can help me out with but I'm going to be extra careful and probably record this in segments so anyway I thought it was about time we tried out Forza Horizon 3 again I have done a video on this before but it was on the Xbox uh, Xbox One when it first released and I realized that I thought I was, I'd waste I thought I'd wasted my money but Microsoft had put it on their Play Anywhere titles so I can play it on PC and you've got all the usual PC options we can mess about with the graphic settings and it's currently on 4k on max settings so it's going to be interesting to see what it looks like and I, I've been, had a bit of a play around with it but I've sort of blown the digital dust off of it and uh, I'm sort of playing it again after all this time so I wanted to try this out because I've just realized that we can now get the Rocket Bunny Boss V2 kit for the S14 and we can have a good look at the SR20 engine and yes you can see the dipstick and everything which is really nice uh, SLRR eat your heart out <laughs> and all that no and yeah we can't see the turbo because the turbo I think would be underneath that heat shield there so we can't quite see the turbo sadly but awesome so anyway let's get this back to the shop and let's put the Rocket Bunny kit on it. Oh yeah, no, that'll be fine. We'll leave that registration plate on there, I think. Okay, right, let's go straight into the upgrades and let's get this Rocket Bunny kit on it. Ready? There we go. <laughs> I love the, the look of this. It looks brilliant. Because I think the rear end of the S14 looks a little bit muscle car-y anyway. If that's even, that's not really a word, is it? But the, the front looks really, really cool. I love the front of the... Uh, the, the Rocket Money Boss V2 kit. Because I've done a bit of research on this. I think it'd probably be about 3000 well that's three or $4,000 I suppose. Because it comes with the, the front quarters, the arches of course, and the headlights and the indicators and things. Uh, it looks really, really good. If I had an S14, I would be very tempted to try and save up for, for this Rocket Money kit because it looks really good. I like it a lot. Brilliant. So I think what we'll do is we'll get that on and we get some, well, not not free, but we get some upgrades for the engine that come included. So let's buy that, and then we'll have a look. And I was thinking, let's see if we can get it sideways. I've played around a bit with Forza Horizon 3 on the PC, but the problem is it still doesn't run too smoothly yet. We can't, I can't seem to figure out how to get the the shifter to work. I can get the clutch pedal to work, but I can't get the shifter to work. I've been trying for ages, um, so that's a real pain, because on the Xbox One it works fine. The Thrustmaster steering wheel and gear stick with the clutch pedal and everything, it works fine on the Xbox, but just not on here. And also I've noticed that sometimes, well actually, that once you've used Horizon 3, the next day you try and load it all up, Horizon 3 refuses to load, and it's a nightmare. But what you have to do, I've realised, is you just have to download or start downloading any old free crappy thing from the Microsoft Store on your PC and then whilst it's downloading try to then relaunch Horizon 3 and it should work that's what I've noticed and then you cancel what you've been downloading for some reason it resets something within the store no idea it's a bit of a bit weird but uh, I really hope that Microsoft okay we don't need that uh, I really hope Microsoft spend a bit of time sorting this out because it would be nice to be able to use the okay we've got that anyway good it would be nice to uh, to be able to use the shifter because I'm trying to use the flappy paddles. Oh. <laughs> trying to use the flappy paddles, and I really am not a fan of flappy paddles. Wait, where's my mouse gone? Come back, mouse. Okay, that's annoying. I seem to have lost my mouse. Wait, no. Oh, damn. How do I go back? Okay, now I've lost my mouse. Here we go. Mouse is back. Brilliant. Okay, conti continue working. Slight hiccup there, but continue working. Right, where do we go? I've forgotten. Where did we get to? So we, that's fine. Do the valves. We don't need the valves. Excellent. Let's just max out the SR20 engine, which, by the way, looks really awesome on, uh, in the Forza Vista. It looks really good. So that's 
really cool to see. It'd be nice if you could see what the engine looked like, like on SLRR, once you add bits to it and you tune it and modify it. It'd be nice to see all the extra bits, like the big turbos stuck to it and stuff. That'd be really cool. And to be able to see the intercoolers and all that. Okay, I'm really I'm struggling to multitask. Flywheel. Yeah, it'd be nice to see all of that. Okay, let's put the race flywheel on. And then let's just quickly do... What's this platform and handling? Let's have a look at this. Do we? Okay, we've already got the best brakes on, and I think from memory, yes, we already have. Wait a minute. Look at the off-road. <laughs> the off-road suspension looks brilliant. Good. Okay. Good. We've got that, and I think this is all fine. Yep. So that'd be all fine. Reinforce the chassis. Well, that's been done. Good. Now let's lighten it. Good. Weight reduction, please. Good. That's done. Now. Let's have a look. We've got drivetrain. Just a couple of bits to do, and then we'll see what this. See if we can actually get the thing to slide. It'll be fun. So that's okay. That's okay. I think we want to change the drive line. Let's put the nice race drive line on, so it's nice and light, and it spins up nice and quickly. Diff. We've already done that. Race diff. Excellent. Good. Let's go back. A couple more bits to do. Oh, I hate it. I wish back stayed in the same place. Then it'd be a lot easier. Right. Okay. Now let's have a look at the wheels. I think. Okay, I'm going to go for the sport tyres. That's what I'm going to use. Because I understand in the competitions, you can only use sport. But I think that would be fine. So we've got the widest wheels on the front. Good. So I want loads of grip on the front. And, yeah, I've already got the widest wheels on the back. So I think we'll leave that. And, okay, now let's do the size. I'm going to just go for max. I would probably have thought of sticking into to 18s because so you've got a bit more control. But the bigger wheels look nicer, don't they? So let's do that. Okay, good. Now, I think I want to change the wheels. Something, a little deep dish. I'm going to go for those because I want to paint them as well. So let's go for those. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, I keep thinking okay brings us out. It feels weird using a mouse with Forza. Good. Now, we don't want to do anything else. Let's just get on the roll. Let's tune it quick and then let's get straight onto the road. So let's install that. Yeah, so we've actually gone lower slightly, but that's because we've put sport tyres on instead of the race ones. We've got a lot more power and that's what we want. Okay, so there'll be a little bit of guesswork here. I'm just... I'm just going to go with gut feeling really because I want a lot of I want a lot of grip at the front. So let's go for I want to go 28. Can I get 28 at the front? And I'm going to rise the pressure on the rear. Let's raise it up to about 35. I don't know because then we'll get a, probably a bit more slide from the rear tires. So let's I'm going to leave the gearing like that. Alignment. Again, this is just complete sort of gut feel. Um, if you have any suggestions, it'd be interesting to hear what you have to say because I'm just going to really just go on gut feel. So I'm going to put, let me think, so I'm going to lower the camber at the back and I don't want the camber to be quite so negative on the front. I don't know, let me think. I'll put it about that. Let's see what happens. I'm going to tow it out slightly at the front and tow it in at the back. I don't know, I'm going to just lower the front caster to about 6.1 I don't know what that will do okay and I'm thinking I want the roll bars to be slightly softer on the front than on the back because then the idea is to get a bit more grip on the front than on the back I don't know let's see what happens so let's go slightly softer at the front slightly harder at the back I'm going to rise it slightly let's put the front right height up very slightly to see what that does maybe again that's going to help us if we want to bring that weight to the front to get the more grip on the front so the back we can bring round i don't know let's just see what happens <laughs> i have no idea okay and i want to lock the diff on acceleration so that when we floor it both wheels spin at the same time there's no there's no different different rates of spinning to hopefully means we can get a good equal slide with both wheels spinning at the same rate and then deceleration i'll keep it down there actually so that once we take up, once we once we jump off the accelerator, we can actually go around the bends if we're not sliding. So let's see what happens there. And I'm going to be very careful with my screen recorder. Oi, I've got my eyes on you. I can see the Marillis logo on the top right. I want to get this video done, so I, I'm just going to go white on white. Just I like the white wheels on the white car. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Okay, we're here, back in, and uh, there seems to be a hovering, well, a few hovering stage lights. Well, interesting. Okay, so this is the <laughs> the awesome Rocket Bunny Boss V2. 
um, S14. S14A, it started life out as. But, um, so the rear end's the same anyway, with the S14A. Okay, let's see. And the S14. But let's see what we can do, because I have... So I've got the steering wheel on the max rotation. So let's see... Whoa, <laughs> that was close. So anyway, let's see. It's taken me a little while to get used to the flappy paddles. I really... I'm not interested in the flappy panels. I really hate the flappy paddle gearboxes. So anyway, um, I'm just sort of trying to get used to it. And let's see... Oh, oh. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. Okay, that was close. Wasn't a good start, was it? <laughs> anyway, so hopefully we don't lose our footage this time. I'm hoping, anyway. So let's see where we can go. So I think I do normally prefer the inside view on uh, these sorts of games. But the problem is... <laughs> the problem is on the inside view is you're kind of stuck, can't you? You're stuck looking like that. And um, I can't look left and right. And you need to be able to, to see either side of you when you're trying to get some sideways action going on. So I, I'm really not trying to get... To <laughs> so I'm really not any good at this, but i am just sort of been playing around with it at the moment. Just sort of see what we can do. Because I've been wanting to... Ah, oh, there's a little roundabout. Oh, this is going to be difficult, isn't it? Let's start with first gear. It's a little hard with... I think it would be a bit difficult in, in second gear. Let's go find somewhere else. Oh. <coughs> You're supposed to be in the right lane when you're turning right. Where should we go? Let's go for a little drive. Okay. Alright, let's just be... Let's see where this takes us. Alright, let me just sort the camera out. Okay. Back on the road before we... Oh, I wonder if we just hit a sign with the rear of the car. Okay, let's try here. Into fourth gear. Oh. Okay, the I do have the steering wheel. The, the steering wheel feels quite weighted. But I didn't want to make it too light, because I wanted it to try and make it feel a bit more realistic. Okay, right. Oh, we've leveled up. Thank you very much. Just trying to avoid hitting that car. Trying. Okay, right. This is quite a nice, quite a nice road. Okay, just trying to get that rear out. Let's try again here. There's okay. a showcase event set up and waiting for you. Oh. Would you like me to set a route there for you? No, no, Anna, no, thank you. Okay, let's try... Try fourth gear. Okay, that's alright. Let's get around these guys. Well, <laughs> ideally without hitting them would be nice. Okay, right, let's... Oh, let's go, let's go this way. <laughs> okay, let's try and stop tank slapping everywhere. I don't know where we're going. I'm just sort of going around in circles here. A little bit. It's definitely a different experience when you put the rotation on max. Okay, come on, let's get to fourth. Oh, there's too many cars. Okay, where should we go? Around the BMW. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Right. I, I 
I'm trying to find this. There are some. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, let's go to the city. I think we should go to the city, actually. All right, well, oh. Come on! Oh, oh, oh. Just sort of focusing into the distance and um, being able to see more of the road is really handy. Because that's the problem with the inside view, is you don't get to see all of the road. Whereas in, in a real car, you'd better look left and right and get a, a better feel for where you are. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay, right. Oh, there's the Horizon Festival over there. Oh, let's go. Let's go in here. No. The position is all off. Should we try it? Oh, no. Oh. I found that. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's go this way. Okay. What's down here, then? Let's go and have a look. <laughs> oh, nightmare. Where else can you go? I definitely need to figure out how to stop my my chair from moving. Okay, let's go up this. Let's go up this way. Okay, it would be nice if I could try to stay on the road. F fifth gear. <laughs> try and get another slide going. Oh, the tree! <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's really, really fun. Um, can we... Oh, thank you for the wheel spin. Okay, so I had to reset a few things. Hopefully everything's still working okay. I hope so, anyway. Round you. Okay. Oh. Right, okay, a couple of little. Come on. <laughs> we get into fifth, maybe. Handbrake it and see if we. Can. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That was really close. Um, okay, let's head to the town. Maybe go to the town, that was close. I think I wanna adjust the settings, actually. Let's tune the car. I wanna try something. Bit, let's try a bit more negative. Let's lower that. I think I'm gonna leave the anti robot like that, but I'm gonna move these round. I'm gonna move these round and see what difference that makes. Let's bring that back up to about there. See what happens. Let's try this. <clears throat> okay, let's try again. Let's try it again. Okay, it feels a bit better. It feels a bit better, actually. Oh, but except there's too many cars in our way. Can we get round the Porsche into fourth and then handbrake it? Okay, that feels a bit more stable, actually. Oh my goodness, uh, okay, that's much... Okay, that feels better. Oh, come on, get it back round. There we go, come on. <laughs> okay, that felt a bit better since we tweaked the settings a little bit. Okay, let's have a little drive around here and see if... See if this works out a little bit better. Oh, right away, Audi! 
I'm <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, it feels like it is handling a bit better now. Oh, he's indicating. Let's get around him. Perhaps this. Okay, that feels a bit better actually. Let's go around. Let's go around this around the outside. Come on, don't lose it yet. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of third gear here. Oh, okay, I think we want to go this way. Let's go this way. <laughs> let's get around the mini. Can't help but just flick the handbrake up and just slide around for a bit. Okay, let's get around all these people. If no one, hopefully, is going to turn and cut me up. Hopefully. Okay. Oh. Nice Porsche, by the way. Okay. As he crashes, I hope I don't. I'm gonna try my best not to crash. Oh, in front of the train. <laughs> Sorry, I think the roundabout is right. So let's take a quick right. Oh, into the tunnel. Okay then. See what we can do in the tunnel. Just gonna get like some weird. I get sideways in the tunnel. <laughs> uh oh, break, break, break! Where, where can we go? What? Did you see that driver's tire just glitch through that? Just saw that driver's tire glitch, and it kind of threw me off a bit. That was a bit weird. Okay, so I've done a, a couple of little tweaks just to see if we could get this to handle any better. In between. Everyone is stopping now. Just got to try and get used to... Back into it again. Back into it. Just trying to make it slightly more angle. Let me get more angle on it. Without hitting that car. Come on. Try to avoid you as well. Come on. The skill chain stopped, but I'm still going. Ah. ah, that was bad. Okay, let's get this back up again. Let's see if we can get around here this in fourth gear, perhaps. No thanks, Anna. <laughs> Very kind of you, though, Anna. Oh, I kind of feel like I might mess this one up a bit. Well, we just about heard it. Oh no, not the tree, or the Fiat 500. Let's just knock all those over. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, can I go in there? <laughs> oh, we're getting frame rate issues now. Crop circles. If you ever wondered where crop circles came from, I'd like to end on a positive note. Oh, okay, good. We can end in the rain. Uh, oh, it's difficult to see, but... Oh, dear, okay. I'm probably going to have to end this, but it's just been a bit of fun. There's no expert sideways action here, but it's just a bit of fun. That's all it is. And I do want to practice and get better at it. Back to the city. I thought it was probably a good place to end it in the city. And uh, whilst I get all red faced. 
There we go, yeah, so it was just a bit of fun. Uh, there's no professional sideways action there at all, but it's just it was just a bit of fun, that's all it was. And it was good to check out the Rocket Bunny Boss V2 kit for the S14 Nissan Silvia. So that was, was a bit of fun to check that out. And uh, hopefully we'll get maybe some better videos when I can maybe get a bit more practice and maybe get a bit better and maybe just get the tuning right. But uh, we seem to have got better. The tuning world was definitely better towards the end. We could, we could hold a few more slides, but uh, it just it takes a bit of sort of bit of getting used to. So with all that said, thank you very much for watching. Whoever you are, whatever you are, have an awesome day. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh no, my chair. My chair's rolling back. Classic, classic drift crash. <laughs>